Okay, so I'm gonna explain some uh, interrupts. How to use interrupts on the Arduino, but I've got a Teensy. It's the same basic platform. It's just in a different form factor. So this is the verbose way of setting up an interrupt timer. Um, you've got two registers. Here's your counter. And this is a little formula that you use to find out which number you're counting to to time it. Basically it increments this. Once it reaches this number then your event is brought up. Um, this is to turn on CTC mode which basically clears the registers. Um, once you reach this number and starts back at zero and this is the prescaler um, because of the limitations this is a way of metering basically your entire range by a number that you divide it by to break it up into smaller bits or smaller chunks of you know counting time basically so you don't want to have to count to a very very small number when you can use this prescaler and use a larger number and get better resolution or better range. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how to say that but and this is the interrupt basically what it does is it toggles it on and then off on and then off on and then off and the loop does nothing so you're sitting in your loop doing nothing and this timer interrupt will time will interrupt it and turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off well there's another library that I found that uses timer 3 and timer 1 and it sets up things automatically for you so right here you see I've got it set for um, half se or actually I think this is for a second this is for a whole second uh, these are in um, microseconds and I've got timer 1 set on the same and these this this is uh, this is a duty cycle so basically I set up the pin these three pins are the three pins that this timer uses and so you can set those up for a duty cycle and basically that means that this turns on for three quarters of the time half the time and a quarter of the time okay and we've got the same thing for the other timer three quarters half quarter and the callback event this is this is called on an overflow timer overflow so once it reaches the end of the timer it toggles the LED on pen 6 and just like with the other interrupt the loop does nothing these are all these are all overriding events it is an interrupt it has precedence over everything and to show you what the code does I've already loaded them on the Teensy and since these are little LEDs I had to put resistors on it or I would blow them but here's what it does as you can see the LEDs farthest to the left are on around three quarters of the time the one in the middle is on around half the time well, exactly half and the uh, last one is on a quarter of the time for a quarter of a second and every time it goes through the cycle it toggles the LED on and off and so that's how you control PWM on timers and call events on timers for interrupts I hope you liked it